go back to King Arthur for a minute. Oh. Yeah. Yes! Ah, somebody got it! Very well done, sir. Extra cookie for you. <laughs> this, is a, this is another of the King Arthur songs I've done, though. This is about the wild child of Camelot, Sir Gawain. Now, Gawain was a prince in his own right. He wasn't just a knight, he was a prince, and he gave that up in order to be one of King Arthur's uh, companions. He was a prince of the Orkney Isles, which were the farthest, wildest, most northern pagan reaches of Arthur's realm. He was quick to anger, but quick to forgive. He was bold, he was brash, he would defend anyone that needed defending. And so one day, when the doors opened and a marvel stepped into Camelot's great hall, the green man himself, the forest god of the ancient Celts, comes into Arthur's hall. Everyone expects miracles and great things, but they do not expect insult. The green man doesn't like what he sees that day. No one is willing to step to the divine creature of the forest, but Gawain, who knows full well who this is, for he is of the old ways, is willing to step up and face the green man in a duel to the death, to be fought in urine a day hence. They chase each other around the countryside for that year, and Gawain faces other trials, other temptations, and overcomes them all. And for the rest of his life, Gawain wears a green belt or a green sash to remind himself about, he what, about what he learns about faith and loyalty while he chases the green knight.
a maid But free in the Baroness's hope Gawain's not swayed for another lady holds his oath She offers body on his land But each advance is stern So she puts a belt into his hand The gift of magic turned by constancy And face of all temptation to his given word on Britain's shore And Yahweh meets that same dream night once more A man laughs and gives his hand instead of turns me Yahweh at last perceives his God and hands are heavenly Taken where my lady's belt to the green man gladly cries See to it you serve us well at all paths of life